Every time you come out, I always talk to you about something that you did. That I saw a picture of you, and I go, "Oh, that's pretty cool that you did that some cool fashion." <laughs> or, move, you're, something. or you're making fun of me. Uh, well, and it no, goes no, both ways. never, no, no, no. In the, in the nicest way, I want to know <laughs> about this new bag that you've been rocking on the red oh, carpet. Okay. Everyone's gonna be into it. Well, that's actually from the Brandon Maxwell show from Fashion Week, yeah. and. And I collect mini bags. I'm obsessed with mini bags, so I got I got to wear it on the runway, and I was really excited. And Jimmy, I brought you. Come on. Wait, I brought. What are you talking about? I brought man? you a mini bag for my collection. <laughs> oh. This is my mini teddy bear bag. Is it really? Yeah. So like, I have so many mini bags, so I thought I would bring this one. Yes. And I also thought. I would bring this one for you because. Oh my God! That is. And oh open it. God. See what's inside. Open it from the bottom. Okay. There's another surprise inside. <laughs> it's a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> People are always like, "What do you fit in your mini bag?" I'm like, "Lots of things." It's like it's I, not. So it's not a real bag. Right? It's more no, of a mirror. No, that's a mirror. But like in mini bags, you can put like lipstick, <laughs> keys, credit card, and uh -huh. like I just realized. When you have a big bag all the time, then you look at it at the end of the week and it's like Mary Poppins bag. Like you have stuff that you are never gonna use, like first aid kit, like random stuff. So I feel oh, like no. that, my wife has that bag. I mean, yeah, yeah. We, we actually are raising one of the kids in her bag. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it's a giant, we feed it every every. So, uh, so the mini bag is like an edit of like what you really need in life. You know what I mean? But do I love this? Thank you so much. This is so <laughs> rad. Yeah, you can so have that for your pocket. It's just for my pocket. It's perfect. <laughs> I will always keep you close to my heart. No Thank worries. you. Uh, I want to talk about this FAO Sports thing because it's my favorite toy store. Oh I love gosh. it so much. I used to go every year. Me too. Since, uh, I mean, I, got, I moved to New York for Saturday Night Live probably 20 years ago, but mm -hmm. I used to go all the time and then uh, and just play and pretend to do the big keyboard, the Tom Hanks keyboard. And now Hanks you can keyboard. take your girls because it's, it's reopening and it was my favorite thing as a kid. I feel like when you're a kid, you don't always remember maybe the toys that you get, but an experience like FAO Schwartz, I feel like when all the big toy stores started to close down, like there's not a place that you can go and experience that with your kid and give something to them that they're going to remember amazing. forever. It's just amazing. If you've never been and there, it's, it's opening in 30 Rock, in this, yeah. in this building right here in New York City, Manhattan. And yeah, it's, you've got to go November 16th. Yeah. November 16th, it opens, and you just go and just, you, again, I, I'm not to say you do. And there's you more buy, experiences this time. Go ahead, buy something, time. but you don't have to. Yeah, and there's more experiences than, e than even before at the, at the other one. There's, like, child adoption, so you go and, like, get a baby doll, but you have to, like, go through an, an interview to oh, make sure. Oh, there are dolls. Yeah. Okay, good, yeah, I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, dolls. <laughs> take it to the next level. But, like, <laughs> if you take your so daughters, <laughs> they're going to have to do an interview to see if they're, like, a fit parent. To adopt the doll. Really? Yeah. So there's like little things like that that are really fun. But and there's awesome. always that guy that's always throwing the planes around your head. And yeah. You're like, lew, lew, and lew, the clutch comes yeah. with like the big. Uh, my favorite was the giraffe, and I have like my FA short snails on tonight. Look at that. That's that, the that, but I put I put a giraffe on my thumb. <laughs> that giant thing. That giant doll. But then, how did you get now involved? Now they called you and they go, Hey, well, we know you design uh, jewelry and design. Right. Uh, so they said, Will you design? What? Oh okay, yeah, so I, I forgot we haven't told them. No. <laughs> um, so they <laughs> called and they were like, we are going to have someone design the soldier uniforms for the first time. Will you do it? So the soldier standing outside of FAO Schwartz will be my design. <laughs> That's the greeter of the time. Um, That's part of the whole thing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and, and what I'm, I'm geeking out. And what I'm really excited about is uh, they are going to have female soldiers for the first time. So. <laughs> This is giant. Yeah. We have a video of you just uh, sketching this because you would draw it on your iPad. So, so yeah, so my first sketch was on with uh, colored pencil on paper. Then I take a picture of it, and then on my iPad, um, I did the rest of the sketch. And this is the original sketch. So obviously, from here, we've taken it and edited it down with the FAO Shorts team. And we're going to debut to it tonight. To what there is today, yes. Yeah, so I'm you can very excited to do that. Quest, a little drum roll. I love this. Like, come on, welcome. Come on in. <laughs> and the hat. Wait, the hat, the iconic hat. Yeah. Wait, can I, can I try it on? Yes, please. Oh my gosh, Jimmy. This is gonna be wild. So the hat, um, my. <laughs> oh my God. That's so Thanks, Jimmy. This is good. Um, so yeah, the clock. The clock is like the the you know classic FAO Schwartz symbol. 
we can talk seriously with, with yeah, one another I, now. Yeah, I was going to wear this um, anyway. And it has the FAO Schwartz When I go blocks. out at night, I want no one to bother me. So I no, no, it's put like, on a hat to the press. Yeah, it's, a, it's a really low-key thing <laughs> yeah. to wear. It's just oh, if you want to. I feel this is. I know this. I feel important. Yeah. Do you feel like you're gonna? You want to go guard the FAO Schwartz all the time? I'm so excited for this toy store, I can't tell you. you. And you're the perfect person to design it. Oh, thank you. It's you're so, so much fun. fun. It's such an honor and like something that I really genuinely grew up loving. So it was just so That's exciting perfect. that they asked me. Uh, Gigi, every time I have you on, we talk hamburgers. We do, Jimmy. Because we share a love for hamburgers. We do, and it's creepy, but every time I eat a burger, I think about you. <laughs> I think the same about you too. As I go, wait, is this is this Gigi worthy? Yeah, we're like, we. I need to have a good I, one for the next one. time I go on Jimmy. Because what if it sucks? No, no. But every time we've been like two for two so far. And but I now, brought I brought uh, Jimmy because last time it was you, so we have to alternate. Yep, that's right. So this is from uh, Four Charles Prime Rib. I've heard about that. I just that I just been. tried recently, and I thought about you, so I brought it this time. So Four Charles Prime mm -hmm. Rib. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to have uh, good luck by. A good luck burger, because you I are the coolest. I wore white and red lipstick, so. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I think I have a napkin in my purse oh. if, you, if you need it. Oh, I have a mirror. If you need, if you I need, need anything. Mirror to touch if you up. need anything, yeah, of okay, course. Okay, great. Uh, cheers. cheers uh, I love Jimmy. you, pal. Thank you for coming. Come best. back. Love you. you are the best. Bye. You're awesome. Gigi Hadid. This is Gigi's design. Got the new FF Schwartz store opening. November 16th here in New York City. Uh -huh. on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.